that we're interested in in rugby league in the area and uh, you, I was in, invited down by you guys and happy to be here. I, I live over at the Keys, so almost uh, Salford, well, my address is Salford, so um, no, I'm just keen to, um, to get involved and help out. What, um, going into a cup final, what sort of advice can you give these boys? I think as I said to them, um, the main thing is just do the little things. Um, you make your own luck, each, you play each set out, you a good kicking game. The little things that win big games are field position and discipline and just completions, that type of thing. Pretty much exactly what Coach said to them. Uh, there's no secret to it, it's just on the day executing it. And in terms of rugby league in, in Salford and in the community, how, how important and how encouraging is it to see a team like this go for Oh, terrific. Here, I was over in 2013 and saw the, uh, the Students' World Cup uh, in the middle of the year here and um, uh, as well as the, uh, the the girls play, the police, the wheelchair, you know, that, um, that type of um, World Cup which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, the Aussie boys were uh, too good for everyone but at the end of the day I really enjoyed seeing you know, the students play and uh, it's great to see the guys come together and, um, and have gone so well. So I you know, hope things, as I said to them, I hope they get what they deserve on the weekend. Yeah, look, basic skills, surprisingly, it doesn't matter what level, you can't beat basic skills. And, and that means pass the ball, run the good lines, um, you know, catch and pass, be able to kick and chase, make a tackle. The fundamentals, the professionals train it, train it, train it. And so even at this level, the amateur level, it's about doing the same thing.